Hey filmmakers, Song Li here. In this video, I'm going to release a Polaroid template for Premiere Pro. So this is a simple template and also this effect is actually not that easy to get that it's actually doing a diagonal rotation. But um, yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually do it instead of with a preset because there's a lot of things you can do uh, with a Polaroid uh, template. But um, yeah, first of all, to get the template, uh, yeah, there'll be a link below to uh, my website where you can download it. Uh, there's be a social locker where you have to press one of the buttons on it to uh, like, subscribe or share this uh, post and enable you to uh, unlock it and there will be a uh, hidden uh, download link where you can download the template. After you download it, unzip it and then go to title, a new title based on template and then here on the side import file as template. So here I already imported it and to use it just click on it and press OK and then it will open a new uh, title with this as a template and pretty much you don't have to do anything on it and then just press that I'm going to clean this sequence and put up this title so what it is it's just a yeah simple title template and this is uh, open here so it's easier to place a image behind this uh, instead of uh, having to precisely align it and uh, precisely have a certain precise measurement so here yeah, let's do a different image so we have this photo and you can scale it down but um, yeah it won't fit this uh, square image because like a Polaroid uh, the image is quite of a square so to get rid of this we use the effect crop and it's quite easy so just put crop there and then choose right side and remove that so that is pretty easy to uh, achieve you also don't have to scale it down and just uh, yeah just you can just move the image maybe like this and then just crop away the sides like this so that is also a way to do it um, yeah I'm not really using a template of this because for every image it's pretty much different how you want to achieve it and also for the effects after it but uh, yeah this way you can put the image together and one thing is uh, I want to suggest is to nest these two together so you can actually move them without them falling apart so uh, especially yeah if I just move like this it's just going to move separate and even though you might think there is a group function will that do anything so if you put on group you can't do any effect at all so if you group things together it won't allow you to even change any of the effects so to avoid any of that is just nest them together and now you can move it and they will stick together and stay together And now to the rotation, so the rotation what I do uh, rotating or spinning the Polaroid, I use 
3D, basic 3D. And here you have like a tilt and a swivel. And yeah, the back of the image is just a mirrored image. But um, yeah, the thing is with this is if you want to uh, have it on the side, like how I had it in the other. So like this or like that. Scale it a little bit smaller. And you want to rotate it, it still rotate on that certain axis. So to change that is you first have to change the rotation into like this. So this points are about aligned together. And then you have to, uh, you can actually remove this basic 3D and actually nest it again and now you can put basic 3d on this nested sequence and when you swivel it now it now rotates on that axis so pretty much show you how to do this rotation but um, yeah of course you don't have to purposely have it rotate in uh, the other thing you can also do is have the photo move into place. Personally, I find the best tool or effect to use is use transform. Because inside transform you have the motion blur. Slight rotation, so it doesn't have to be purposely straight. And I'll actually... And just move the position of this. Um, yeah, actually up. In at slight rotation so that it looks like so we added the slight rotation so it actually looks literally like somebody's sliding the photo over a table. Now to add motion blur. We add 180 degrees here. And it shoots. Oh, it's a pretty slow movement. So actually increase the speed of this. Maybe actually change the shutter angle to 360. Better. Yeah. That's too much. Can even be even faster than that. So now you can see it gets a nice motion blur and then move in. Okay, so that was that. Uh, you can actually add more photos and more Polaroids and actually uh, yeah, make them all come in and just fill up the entire screen. And uh, yeah, that'd be a nice intro or opening for your uh, like wedding video or uh, vacational video or like the end of the video and yeah pretty much uh, that was the tutorial hopefully you guys find this quite interesting 
if you want to see more upcoming videos uh, please subscribe if you really like this video give me a thumbs up and i hope to see you the next time bye bye